So yeah, this is the alley with the mushrooms. And these guys are here to end my run. Look at them, look at them. Go away, be gone, be gone, be gone. Go away. Now there's... What the heck is this? Now look at that. That... Anyone can get me here at this point. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Look at them go. <laughs> look at my Viking go super speed here. <laughs> oh no. Eventually Sorry. we're up on the mountain. Ta-da! <laughs> Approach. And it's also a bit dangerous. Because wolves might be sneaking around me. Sometimes get stuck in the terrain. So I took advantage of that. And blasted him with arrows. Go wrong during a blizzard. Like right here. Getting ambushed by wolves. That's 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 bad. Welcome back everyone to a brand new episode of our Valheim Hardcore Permadeath series bow challenge only. Mal that's that's man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> it's kinda a lot of a, a big title right up there. I'm gonna have the world settings to my right hand corner of the screen. I'm gonna have my stats to my left corner of the left hand corner of the screen so you can see where we're at. I'm gonna do this at the beginning of each episode so you see where we're at and everything else. So um, yeah, we can start by sleeping right here and that's that's a good start of a day. Good night's sleep. Let's just get into it. Checking the fermenters here. I wish I wish these wouldn't take so much time, but it is what it is. So, uh, this first part of the episode, I just realized I have no raspberry. And I kind of need a raspberry for the potions. Right. And so I went to grab a lot of raspberries, every single bush that I can find. Also grabbing dandelions. You kind of need these. I'm running a bit low on resources in the chests. So I'm going to want to have <laughs> a lot of potions. Especially since we're going to... We're planning on going to the mountain. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know how things will go there, but I kind of need a lot of potions. So, checking and grabbing everything at this point. Raspberry, mushrooms, everything that I can get my hands on. It's too bad that it's raining and I can't hear enemies properly. But it's fine, it's fine. We've had uh, rougher days in Valheim than this, so... Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. We're farming, we're having fun. There's a freaking skeleton behind me. <laughs> how did you get here? How did you get here, friend? Kind of a skinny friend, but it's a friend nonetheless. Okay. So, another grailing. These guys are trying to end my permadeath run, I swear to god. So, uh, if I'm gonna see more than one, that means they're they're up to something. <laughs> right, these bush, these bushes, right. <laughs> these bushes are close proximity to the base. Uh, it's a bit hard to get them. Uh, we have no map, obviously, obviously, so uh, not like you can mark them on the map. You just have to run and go. Yeah, going toward the Black Forest now for the blackberries. Oh, blackberries, right. Blueberries. <laughs> Wish there were blackberries. And there's the welcoming committee. So we're low on blueberries too, and also thistle. Since you were using a lot of thistle, I mean, this game uses a lot of thistle, in the potions and in the food as well. So I just wanted to make a fresh new batch of thistle in the black forests. Taking out the trash. I don't need the great dwarf size. We have a ton of them. We've spent so much time in the forest and we have a ton of them since we're playing with the double res. Yeah, so just throw away. You will you will see me throwing away occasionally stuff because we're kind of full up on the, on them on the, in the chests. And yeah. These guys are everywhere, everywhere. Oh, look at that. Can we snipe? Yes, we can. <laughs> and there's a one star gray dwarf here, trying to prevent us from farming. And I can see the mountain here, so at least I will know where to go to get up on the mountain. There's a huge mountain here. I can I can see it from uh, from the coastline. I could see it from the coastline. I don't know if it's the best mountain or if it has a lot of uh, resources up there like frost caves but honestly the first time that we're gonna go ooh, nice 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 we're finding them we're finding them eventually these are kind of hard to find this world is not abundant in blueberries but yeah the first time we're gonna go into the mountain we're gonna go looking for um obsidian that's what i'm in for to give up finally give up the skelly tower here give up our wooden arrows to get the obsidian ones which will be a major 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 damage improvement our damage will go up by around 30 
So, yeah. <laughs> From 20 damage to uh, around 50. Yeah, these skeletons are not a problem, unless they are uh, archers, or two-star archer, could stagger us at this point. I mean, mostly will stagger us. <laughs> so we gotta have to, kinda have to tread carefully here. Look at that, look at that. He's so eager to come and end my run. You wanna end my run? You wanna end it too? Nah, it's not happening, folks. <laughs> at least not this way. I don't wanna go down this way. So eventually, I'm finding a lot of boobers here, which is nice. Kind of wandering around, looking for more. Don't need the seeds. Yeah, don't need the seeds. <laughs> I need the bird, though. I need the feathers. We're gonna need... Oh, we're gonna need a ton of feathers. You stay there. You stay there. Are there more? No, there are not more. Okay. Getting those delicious blueberries. All the thistle that I can get my hands on. Now, this forest that we had just by our base is not really abundant in all these resources. So, um... Yeah, they're pretty scarce. I had to I had to run a lot to get them. So another bad patch of blueberries here. Ooh, ooh, ooh! And I see something else that's blue. Get him! Get him! Let's get him! Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> this is not hardcore. This is not hardcore. This is easy. Famous last words, right? <laughs> yeah, look at that giant explosion of goodness. But I kind of don't need his hide anymore. Yeah, definitely gotta do something smart. I watched another channel, the Spazzy Games, most of you know it. And he has he's given me great ideas about the armor. So we I wanna do something uh, really interesting about the armor. I'm gonna combine armors and get the perks of armors, of different armors together, and make us uh, resist more in here. That will actually increase our chance of survivability by a lot. Some more blueberries here. All of a sudden, all the bushes are coming are coming into the light now that the rain has gone. I could use this song with the rain has gone, but I can't post it here. Uh, okay, more thistle here. That's one in the bush. It's gone in the bush. Some mushrooms. Pretty much getting everything, every single thing, every single thing that I can get my hands on. We're gonna need those. We're gonna need a lot of mushrooms. Eventually, I'm gonna add more storage to the house. But I wanted to wait until I get the black metal chests. Those are amazing. I can't use the fine wood chests, you know, the ones you make with fine wood and iron. Because those kind of don't fit, they're really tall, and they don't fit in the gap that I have. Uh, the gap that I have uh, set up for the chests, right? So looking at the board there. Nothing, nothing. Let's test our sniping abilities. Ooh, nice. And there's another one. Can I get him? Nah, come on, come on, yep, nice, <laughs> got him, got him, that did no good, but whatever, <laughs> back of the base, back of the base, let's check on the fermenters, I have an obsession now with these with potions, and we can call it a day, a day full of gathering resources, the following morning, just repairing uh, my stuff, because I have some form of OCD here, so... <laughs> I need, I, I'm really neat, and everything needs to be neat. I can't play this game if uh, things are chaotic. I've watched a lot of players do it. I have having items all over the place, and oh my god, I wish they could allow me to fix that for them. I would gladly do it for free. So, um, checking for the honey. Yeah, I kind of need. Honestly, I needed more honey. Like, these four beehives, even with double resources, they're not enough. They're, they're really not enough. Yeah, meanwhile, while everything else is happening, preparing the smelters and the kilns, you should always do that when you have, uh, when you're going farming around the base, or when you're uh, doing stuff in your base. So make sure when you have things to be smelted, to always fill these things up, these lovelies, and then you're gonna have resources for days. I know that trick when you can find, uh, when you can enable the fire hazards, right? and let the fire melt your piles of wood to get instant coal. However, I don't want to burn my house down by accident, so that's not happening. <laughs> We're not playing with fire hazards, that, that doesn't add difficulty to the game, it just makes it a bit annoying. Arranging some stuff here because they're everywhere. <laughs> my stuff is just going crazy. Ah, 
attack, checking for the meads. Now we have frost resistance. And we will go into this episode to the mountainside. Just to get obsidian and just have a small peek into the goodies of the mountain. Adding some more frost resistance potions, well, meads, because we kind of need them on the mountain. I'm not sure when I will be able to get the cloak. So, meads it is. For now. <laughs> Making sure to get the scrap there. Checking on these turnips. Man, the, the, the turnips, that, uh, or the gardens, have really time hard time growing and developing. I wish that time was, I don't think there are three in-game days or four in-game days for them, let me know if you know, to develop. But it kind of takes a lot of time, both for the fermenters and the gardens. So sometimes you're just stuck doing nothing. So now I have to farm because I'm running low on necktails, which we also need, like in huge amounts, for meads and food. And I didn't farm that many necktails, so we're going for necktails, the boar, and basically everything that I can get my hands on at this point. Everything is good. Every single resource is... Oh, that's, that one's stuck there. Nice, got it. So, yeah. Every single resource that I can get my hands on matters now. I'm not gonna toss anything useful. So there's actually a nice alley there. I will take you sometimes to it. Where you go... Where I have a road, right, that goes up to the stones. The summoning stones. Or the boss stones. Right where we started. So I have a nice road there, and it's patched with mushrooms. There are three three giant uh, clusters of mushrooms right there. So more necktails for me. No necktails there. Hunting. This bow is amazing. By the way, this bow feels overpowered. So like I said, this is top for me. I might use Drug or Fang Bow for the bosses, but other than that, for monsters, this is the best bow. Because uh, it doesn't, it, it's sneakier, right? So it doesn't alert, like I said in the last episode. It doesn't alert the enemies as much as the other bows do. So for instance, uh, it's a 10, 10 meter radius for the other bows, but this one is 4 meters, like that. So only enemies that are uh, really stick st <laughs> or stuck to each other will, uh, will aggro on you. It's great, that's why it's called a huntsman. It's great for hunting, it's great for... Uh, monster farming or whatever or clearing camps i'm curious to test this uh, in the planes on the fueling camps i've never used this bow in the fueling camps i, I would always use the draugr fang bow but uh i feel like this one is really better it's top notch is up there so yeah this is the alley with the mushrooms and these guys are here to end my run look at them look at them look at them they're they're now in they're they're bonding together and <laughs> trying to end my run there oh come on come on oh come on Yep, I got it, got it, got it. So yeah, Great Wars are uh, aligning themselves against me. I think Ikthyr is building his army again. So he's coming after me eventually. What would that be? That would be great, right? When you're at the end of the game and you're uh, run, Ikthyr showing up with all the animals from the forest, tearing down your base. Like, all the animals are two stars. <laughs> Wish they had, like, deer. Angry deer. Right? Just like Ikthyr, charging at you or doing so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The turnips are popping. The turnips are popping. We're getting nice. Checking on the mead. Yeah, nothing happening there. Let's just place these in the chests. Having everything organized. The more organized you are, the easier your life in Valheim will be. So, that's that. Also, you're gonna see me fiddling with my inventory a lot. So, if that bothers you, I apologize in advance. Let's just sleep and we'll resume in the morning. Boy, look at that. Look at that. New day. Let's check on the fermenters. <laughs> there you go with my fermenter obsession. I don't think it's everything is happening. Anything's happening with the fermenters. I've just. Uh, let's wait for the rest of the buff. I've just, like, started the fermenters going. I got the fermenters going, actually. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Meanwhile, look at that, the turnips are ripe, we can get the smelters and the kilns going. And then, and then my friend, we can go for the turnips. Eventually we will. Because we're kind of needing them for better food. Once you get to the turnips, it's a huge, huge leap in power in your Valheim experience. So, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna need that a lot. 
You're gonna, you're gonna see me planting turnips over and over, time and time again. Let's just get the smelters going. So, doing a lot of smelting, and I will do even more smelting, even in this episode. So, let's get the turnips. At some point, I realized that uh, the torches, right? When you have a lot of light in your house and you're running on torches, like the normal ones, that's bad for your resin deposit. Now, a resin is kind of hard to come by, so you can get it from monsters or from farming the small uh, beech trees, right? And since it's that hard to come by, I feel like for at least, I, like I'm bringing an archer, let's get the iron pick here while I'm talking. Um, for an archer, it feels like you're using it on arrows and fire arrows too, and wasting it on torches seems like a bad idea, right? So, uh... I decided to go and farm copper and add copper torches or scones. I hate that word. I swear to God, I hate that word. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> right. Getting some wooden arrows here, obviously. You're gonna need a lot of them because I'm running like crazy through these. That's why we need to update to the better arrows. Clearing the boar on the way to the forest. And now that we got the pick. Ooh, ooh, two star, two star. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Inkmidi. Now that I got the peak. The peak? The peak? The pickaxe. I have no peak. <laughs> I'm starting to look for a copper deposit close to the base. And lo and behold, how the heck did I actually... Ooh, ooh. Wait. How the heck did I not see this? Let's get the... Other. Yeah, let's get your friend, too. Yeah, your friend. Now you have no friends. You're alone in this cruel and cold world. Right. And I'm... Uh, I feel really good that I, we found this uh, this huge patch of copper. We're gonna use our magic hoe and start flattening, flattening the crap out of this guy, because this is how you expose more ore. Obviously, I don't want to dig it all the way down. It takes too much time and is not worth it. Is not worth the time spent for, uh, your your time. Yeah, the time you spend digging all the way down, uh, you can actually mine another one of these. Most forests have a bunch of copper on surface, so copper deposits, right? So you don't need to mine it. Right, now I have my storage here, let's get things sorted. And start smashing the ore. Now, obviously, with all the pick skill that we have <laughs> and with the with the iron pick, this is just crazy. I remember that we did this a few episodes ago with the antler pick, and that was crazy. It took me a lot of time. In real time, in real life, I think it's uh, unedited raw. It took me around an hour and 20 minutes to get all the copper that I needed. So this is this is like a 20 minutes job. Not even 20 minutes. I feel like 15 minutes took me. It took me around 15 minutes to uh, get it done, right? So, checking to see if uh, I have everything. I kind of need some tin. I need some tin too, in order to smelt it. So, yeah, this is what I do. Usually when I'm done, I'm just checking to see if any ore is left on the surface. Because sometimes... Yeah, they're like here. Right here. You can find some. Going for some tin. Luckily, there was a small lake near the place where I uh, farmed the copper. So, you can find tin near lakes if you have lakes or small puddles like this one, because <laughs> not a neck and not actually a lake in the forest. You can go and grab the tin from there. Going for the base because it's kind of night time, and I don't want to spend night time in the forest. Because since this is permadeath, imagine dying stupidly to a great war for a troll. It's also storm in the forest, so no, no, not doing that. Not going in the forest during a storm, because I'm not a masochist. Maybe I am, who knows? Maybe me playing this equals masochism. <laughs> right, so before sleeping, let's get these done. There are cool ways to make these uh, actions happening faster, like placing the items in your uh, hotkeys. One of you let me, uh, one of you told me this in the comments. So now we got the meads going. We got some more killing meads the fermenters and we can sleep on it and in the morning we're going for another black forest adventure oh come on <laughs> come on 
Is this really necessary for the ground to shake right at this point? Let's check it out. This is kind of dangerous. This is, ooh, ooh, this is kind of dangerous. This is kind of dangerous. Yeah, I think they might be able to get me here. I need to make that trench deeper. The ditch around the base. But at the same time, I don't want to fall in it accidentally and not be able to get out. Because that can happen too. So, <laughs> decisions, decisions. Kind of waiting here. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Yep, there they are. Look, they're smashing my stairs. Go away, be gone, be gone, be gone. Go away. Now, there should be more. Let me see if I can lure them here with an arrow. Because they usually come. Ah, there you go, there you go. Right, oh, this one has a log. And there are usually three of them. There's the third one. There's the third one. There are usually three. So this event, compared to the other ones, if you take out the trolls, this event ends faster. Whereas the other events, you can take out all the enemies and they will keep coming. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to need the resources. Right around here, I... Uh, I decided that these stairs are not that efficient. So you're gonna see me fiddling with the stairs soon. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, those are those are really not good. I can't find a better way to stop the trolls from entering the base other than this. I mean, there is another way, but at the same time I want to be able to shoot them, right? Going back in the forest to grab the tin. All the tin that's left. I think I heard a troll right around here. I'm not 100% sure. Because usually you can... Uh, there are a lot of sounds in the forest. So you can hear them growling in the... Or growling in the distance. Or nearby. Now, something really silly happened here. And I want you to have some... Uh, some of my stupid experience. One of my silliest Valheim experiences here. Look at this. Look at this. Look... <laughs> What is this? What the heck is this? Now look at that. That anyone can get me here at this point. I can't unhook me. I hook. I can. I get. Can I dodge roll? Yeah. And I got my cart stuck right now in here. So uh, yeah, I had to take everything out of it to make it lighter. It's kind of heavy. All the stone and all the copper. And I'm getting the stone because who knows what we might need to build in the future. So I'm hauling that all the way back to the base. Because why not? We're kind of needing the stone. So yeah, let's take the cart back to the base. Really quick. It's a bit difficult to do so when you, when you have no road. Can I talk? <laughs> Thank you. Right, so... Uh, just gonna take this back to the base. And deposit everything and start. Maybe in the next episode we can start working on the better lightning, right? So replacing the normal torches with the copper ones. I never finished that idea. Because the new ones, or the... Yeah, I just realized how the heck am I gonna get this inside the base. <laughs> so I figured out a solution here. A silly solution. Like this. And I tried to actually bring the cart inside the base. What was I thinking here? This looks ridiculous. This looks just ridiculous. Look at that. Look at them go. <laughs> Look at my Viking go super speed here. <laughs> oh no. So I figured out, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna get them all on, uh, in my inventory and uh, move them inside the base. So yeah, like I said, the copper torches, the one you hang on the wall, or even the one you place on the ground, iron ones and whatnot later, they are, they are way better at... Uh, they don't consume the resin as fast as the other ones do. So uh, we're going for those because I can't afford to lose all the resin in my chests. It's kind of hard to come by. Fixing the other stairs. So I figured out this is a way better system to get me in the base and out of the base. And a way safer system too. Then I can connect them with the cart and I can... Uh, Get my... I, I don't know what I was thinking here. Placing them a bit lower. You're gonna see that's gonna hinder me in the future. <laughs> now, with all the remaining stone, we're creating small clusters, small piles like this. 
And you can shove them like this, really close to each other. And look at them. There are a lot of stone piles here. <laughs> a lot of them. From all the farming and everything that's left. Now, there are enemies nearby. We can't go to sleep. Oh, we can. Eventually, we could go to sleep. That was the main idea of the base. To be able to sleep even during events or with enemies around. To feel completely safe. 73 days. Wow. I wish we can get to the mother too before um, 100 days. If we can get to the mother before 100 days, I feel like that would be amazing. For this, for the challenge and... Uh, for the game, for for the gameplay too. In a hundred days to take out the mother. Oh, bone mass! I'm not worried about bone mass. Bone mass shouldn't be that hard. We're just gonna take a lot of time. We're gonna farm him twice. We're gonna farm his blobs twice. Because I want to have the trophies. Ooh, we never got to we never got to fiddle with the trophy room. We have to do that in one of the episodes. Let's get the trophy room uh, going. That would be amazing. Popping up the frost resistance here, and eventually we're up on the mountain. Ta-da! <laughs> we're here. Let's see the welcoming committee. And there's the welcoming committee. I can hear him. Ooh, right. Ooh, he's right here. He's right here. I missed the shot. Now, where's your friend? Because they usually come in pairs. Where's your friend? I'm just gonna look carefully around here. To see where your friend is. Because these dogs, they're kind of kind of walking in pairs. And there's your friend. I can hear him. I can see him now. Right there. Right there. Nice. Does your friend have another friend? Oh, he does. He does. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice. I wonder if we can snipe these guys with the better arrows. With obsidian ones. That would be interesting to see. If we can snipe the wolves. I don't think so. Once they spot us. So starting to work on a small shelter here. Yeah. I should have uh, actually had stake walls. So whenever you're building an outpost. Especially on a mountain. In a silly spot like this. I don't know what, 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 is, what was I thinking. <laughs> But building a shelter on the ground in the mountain is the worst idea ever. Like, so many AoE attacks can get you and you can be gone in a second. But yeah, there it is. I should have uh, used stake walls around it, but I didn't do that either because I was like, hey, you know what? I'm only here for obsidian. Not even gonna bother with anything else. So that's that. But that was true. I was there for obsidian. <laughs> and I am here for obsidian. Oh, look, look, look. How how are you mountain creatures now? Did these guys evolve? <laughs> oh, come on. I've never missed so many shots, like, ever. In any gameplay. Or playthrough. But yeah. Now we, can, we are able to get all the resources, place them in the cart, and finally, finally go and get that delicious obsidian so we can have our uh, arrows going. So let's get everything in here. This is my storage. Because we kind of have to cart them back. Since we have no portals. So this also increases... With no portals, it also increases your chance of dying. Right? So it adds to the difficulty. Because you're exposed, you have to carry the cart. So right about here... That, ooh! Our first Drake. Look at that. Our first Drake in the permadeath run. Can I actually get him? Yeah, <laughs> eventually. Look at that. We're getting the freeze glands. Now, actually, the freeze glands is the second most important thing for me. So, I'm gonna need the obsidian from the mountain before taking out the bone mass. And the freeze glands. And there's our stone golem, the first one I spotted. I'm kind of freezing here. <laughs> Let's get the potion going. So, um... I usually don't fiddle, fiddle with these guys. I don't want to die to them. I can dodge them, just like I did with the trolls. But yeah, I feel like these guys can one-shot me as well. 
So we're not just gonna do that. We're not gonna willfully enter death and then join death. <laughs> so I'm gonna start uh, chipping up or chipping off his HP bar with with arrows, with long shots. He went into hiding behind that rock, but he will come eventually here. There he is. And uh, right here I had no plan. I was trying to get on one of those mountains, because here he was able to get me. So I was like, come on, let's get higher, let's get higher. <laughs> so what about here? No, that's too high, I can't stay on that peak. And I was just sliding like a crazy person here. <laughs> and I'm kind of worried that he might be able to get me here, that, that's why I'm hesitating. Or I'm hesitating to go uh, get any closer to him. Sometimes these guys get stuck in the uh, in the environment. So he went into hiding again. I had to get down from my rock and kite around this um, building. Kite him around this building. So just running around in circles. Shouldn't have jumped there. Wasted my stamina. So his HP bar is almost gone. But yeah, this is this is the safest way you can uh, approach, and it's also a bit dangerous because wolves might be sneaking around me. So these guys are better... Uh, the best way to take care of them is getting on a high point and blasting them with arrows. This is the safest way. Uh, harpooning them and dragging them into pits, that's kind of extreme, because while you dig the pits, you're making a lot of noise, other monsters will aggro on you. It's kind of dangerous, for me at least, so I don't want to fiddle with that. But that's a, that's a good idea too. Getting them into a pit, getting him stuck. Let's just sleep on it. And really, really soon here. I'm just gonna go for uh, for some extra. 74 days survived. Nice. <laughs> I feel better, like, I feel good. For each and every day that I'm gonna see up there, I'm gonna feel better. Or, or I'm gonna feel good about it. So, I went for some more obsidian. And there's another stone golem. Why are these guys everywhere? Why are they spawning so often? Is this because of the hardcore difficulty? I feel like there are a lot more stone golems than wolves on these mountains. Is this like a second one? How rare are these? They should be as rare as the trolls, but they, they're everywhere, so... The same strategy, running around the cabin, <laughs> kiting him around the cabin. And at some point here, he actually got stuck. Like I said, they're just, just, they're just big and dumb, and they sometimes get stuck in the terrain. So I took advantage of that and blasted him with arrows. His HP bar is melting. Now these guys, obviously, they are resistant to pierce damage, a damage type ideal with a bow. So it usually takes a bit more time to take them down. No trophy. The trophy from those guys, that's amazing. God, I would have loved a trophy from the Stone Golem. And eventually I will farm them for trophies in the future. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the most difficult trophies to get, other than the cultist trophy. The cultist trophy is also really difficult to get. Like I had, I think I visited in another, uh, in my normal playthrough, where I play for fun, around seven or eight caves, killed all the cultists inside, that's around 20 or 30 cultists, and I got no trophy. And you kind of need the trophy to build the Fenris armor, which is the armor I'm going for, up until the plains. I'm gonna take the root armor and mix it with the Fenris. Yeah, we're gonna do a mix of armors, like I said. There was a nice snipe there. So right about here, I decided I'm screwed, because this happened, folks. Yeah. It's kind of blizzardy. The weather is against me, obviously, so... <laughs> I'm trying to make it back home as fast as possible. I don't want to stay in the blizzard more than I need to. So back at the base, getting everything in the cart. And getting the cart back to the base as soon as possible because I don't want to spend time in here. So many things can go wrong during a blizzard. Like right here. Getting ambushed by wolves. That's 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 bad. Bad boy. Bad Oh boy 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 boy. <laughs> oh my god. My heart just froze there for a second, honestly. I I I need to crap my pants. Just just seeing that wolf that close to me it was it was it was too much. So yeah, no blizzards. Don't spend time during the blizzards on the mountain. 
So right here is another one of those beautiful things where I get to not be able to get the cart inside. <laughs> so getting all the resources back into the chests, checking for honey. I'm going through honey like crazy, so I'm gonna check for those bees more often. Like here, for every meat, for every food, honey and thistle and whatnot, we're gonna need a lot of them. I forgot that uh, I should have actually started smelting the resources that we got home. So I just realized this right about here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, started smelting them. Yeah, really fast. So yeah, this was a bit of a farming episode. But expect more action in the future episodes because it's gonna get crazy. We get to, to go to the mountain, take out the bone mass. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how things will go there. And another event. Nothing happened during this event. It was a rather boring one. I just stood in the base, got the better bed to raise the comfort level. So, yeah, nothing happening during this. Uh, we're, we're safe from this event. Also getting the workbench upgrade. Sweet. And we can upgrade the rest of our armor and stuff like that. Just went outside to clear the monsters. Because these, guy, these guys won't leave. <laughs> They're just gonna stick here forever. There you go, nice and crisp. All the arrows into the back of your head. Good. Hey, hey. I feel that there's, yeah, there's one more, there are two more. Right. Clearing this stuff up, back to the base. And that's it. This is all for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, what, what should I improve, what should I change, and I'll catch you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.